Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to sit down and get back to filming. I'm gonna be doing a go-to glam summer look that I would wear to a cookout, a concert, a wedding. I just actually got back from a vacation. We were in Florida for a wedding on the beach and I wanna do something that I would wear for a situation like that that's going to be sweat proof. The other cool thing about this video is everything is super affordable. I wanna say thank you to She Glam for sponsoring this video. I'm sure you're familiar, but if you're not, She Glam is the affordable cosmetics brand sold exclusively at Shein. Now you can download the Shein app to shop these products, or you can just go to the Shein website. I did a video with She Glam a few months back. I was blown away by the quality of these products, the packaging, I am just really impressed. So I'm super excited to partner with them again. And I do have some new products to showcase in this video that I've been testing behind the scenes. And I'm gonna show you some of my staple, staple products that I found from them. So all the links will be down below in my description box, as well as my discount code. I do have a code, I will put it on the screen, 15% off the entire Shein website. If you wanna buy clothing, accessories, or She Glam cosmetics, you can use my code to save 15% off. So everything will be down below. If you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into my go-to summer glam. So along with some staple products that I found when I tested She Glam a few months back, I'm going to be demoing and going over the new Sunday Picnic Collection. This is so cute, you guys. I can't even tell you. I want to show you the PR box, and you can actually purchase this yourself. And when you hear the prices, you see the packaging and the swatches and the products perform. They are so affordable. They're vegan, cruelty-free, and everything ranges from $5 to $11, which is insane. So here is the inside of the PR box. Now, you can purchase this, as I said. The entire box is $34.99, which is insane. You get an eyeshadow palette, three cream blushes, a three-piece lip oil kit, and a setting mist. There's also a scrunchie. I have it in my hair right now, which is super adorable. They really knocked it out of the park with this packaging. Every little attention to detail, it's just so adorable, affordable, and the quality of the products. Just wait until we get into that. So I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette. So the palette is called the Sunday Picnic Eyeshadow Spread, which I thought was so cute. This is an eight-pan eyeshadow palette, and it retails for $6.49. I love the packaging and I love this little detail of the lace on the actual palette. I thought that was so adorable. So you get eight shades in here and they are all quite neutral cool, which I thought was great. They are definitely your neutral browns and peachy tones, your tan tones, but I like that they're not the typical orangey warm that we see. You have five mattes in here and then you do have some different textures. This is like a topper that gives you that beautiful, almost wet look. Then you have your standard metallic shade here and then you have more of a satin here. So this is like a soft spring color story. So to start the look off, I'm gonna go into the shade Dawn, which is this really sort of peachy light transition shade. And I'm just going to put this in the crease. My uh, face, like my forehead, even my eyelids, is a little bit burnt from being in Florida. And I was loading up on the sunscreen, so it's just really really hot down there when we were on the beach so you can see even though this is a really light shade it does have a good amount of pigment but overall you're just going to get a soft neutral look which is pretty much my preference at all times i know i do fun looks here on my channel but anytime i'm doing my go-to makeup 99 percent of the time it is neutral browns tans peaches stuff like that I'm gonna grab a little bit of the shade Biscuit right here, and I just wanna put this on the outer corner just to do a little bit of dimension, but I really don't want a lot. Just want something soft on the eyes. So for the lid, I'm gonna use this shade called Prosecco, which is this really pretty metallic. I'm just gonna use my finger and just apply this softly. This is a very thin metallic, I would say leaning more on the satin side. You can definitely amp it up, 
But again, this whole vibe is very soft, but it's not like chunky or anything like that. And to add a little bit more sparkle, I'm gonna use the shade RSVP. This one is that topper that gives you that nice shine. And now you can see the difference between the two. So it really just brings out that kind of glittery look. And then I'm taking a little bit more of that biscuit shade, just sort of blending the edges here. So we all know I love a good wing, so I'm gonna go in with a liner next. This is the She Glam Eternal Beauty Liquid Liner, and this retails for $3.49. This is intensely black. So I'm just gonna do a small wing. I always say that, but I really am gonna try to do a small wing. <laughs> So I've got a general shape, and one of the reasons I do my eyes first is because I can clean this up, and if I mess up, I can just keep perfecting it. So I like to take a wipe and go under the wing and really sharpen it. So I get that really sharp line that I'm looking for, like so, and then I can perfect it even more. So I kind of just do this little back and forth until I get the shape that I'm looking for, and I find that wiping with a wipe or even a q-tip with uh, micellar water or just water in general really is the best way to get that really drawn out wing rather than trying to do it by hand. So this is just a tip that really works for me. Sometimes I have to wipe, reapply, wipe, reapply, but that's really how I get that sharp wing. So now let's move on to mascara. This is the She Glam Max Impact Extreme Volumizing Mascara. This is $4.99. I love the packaging on this. It's like that pink packaging. And this has a large brush. I actually really love like volumizing mascaras more so than lengthening. I just feel like they do more for my lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start layering this on. It is a drier formula, so it's not, you know, all over your face. It's very buildable. So you can see this gives you volume and length. I just typically prefer volumizing that does both essentially because I really like my lashes to look as big as possible. I'm not working with a lot. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna go back in with the lash curler to really make them stand out. You just have to be careful with the bigger wands because I personally tend to go a little bit heavy and get it on my eyeshadow. I've done that way too many times to count, but I really like the length and volume this gives me. So I'm not sure if I wanna do lashes, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the face and then see how I feel. I'm gonna be using the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer to prep the skin. This is $5.99, this is so nice. It gives you this like soft sort of blurred effect, but it doesn't feel drying or overly like silicone feeling, and it almost just like evens out your skin tone in a strange way. It's just really, really nice. It's one of those that you can use in your T-zone or you can use it all over. So I'm just going to apply this liberally and you can see it like calms down the redness that was in my skin and just makes everything look nice and smooth. So along with the primer, I fell in love with this foundation from She Glam. This is the Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. I am so impressed with this. This retails for $9.49. The packaging, I mean, everything about this just feels luxurious. It wears beautifully. I love a good matte foundation. This is like long wearing, matte but not drying. It's really, really flattering on just like pores and texture. So I did have sand that I used uh, before. You can see I've kind of used some up, but I did pick up warm vanilla just to try because sand was a little deep for me. I may have to mix them today solely because you know, I just got back from vacation. So I'm gonna pump a few pumps of warm vanilla out which might be a little light. I'm gonna do one pump of sand. But this is a fantastic matte foundation. If you're looking for just long wear, oil control, something that doesn't look heavy or feel heavy. So I'm gonna start applying this to the skin. You can see it has great coverage. I feel like the sand shade is a little deep for me typically, but because I did get back 
from vacation, I'm probably gonna have to put another pump of the sand in just because I typically don't lay out in the sun. So another thing I love about this foundation is obviously the wear and that I don't get greasy, but it's not dry. It's not a matte that is clinging or just looks super dry and the texture is thin. This was one of my top, top favorites. I was just absolutely blown away by this formula. And I believe they have 30 shades in the range. So along with the foundation, I was super impressed with their 12 hour full coverage concealer. This retails for $3.99. I had the wrong shade when I originally tried it. I had vanilla, but I continued to use that shade when I had no self tan, but I have the correct shade now, which is salad. That's an interesting name. So this is a whipped sort of texture but it's really high coverage. So if you're looking for a lot of coverage, this is for you. So this almost has like a, I would say like a cream to powder sort of feel. It kind of goes into that like whipped, almost like soft matte type of finish, but you can just see how that covered and brightened up. You really don't need a lot. It just blends super easy. So to set the face, this is another standout product for me. This is the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. Now I have the shade Bisque and it has this touch up powder on the top that's supposed to be translucent just to touch up oiliness, but really I adore the powder on the bottom. This is a super smoothing, just really blurring loose setting powder. So they do have a handful of shades in this one. It retails for $6.49. I am so impressed with this. I've used it in a couple videos since. So I'm just gonna make sure I don't have creases. And then I am just gonna press this into the skin. So I just sort of load up my sponge and press. I mean, look how smooth and blurring that is. I wanna get maybe one shade lighter to try like when I wanna brighten my under eye, but this one works well for all over the face. So if you can see the difference, this just really smoothed out my complexion. I pretty much look poreless, which is not typical for me, but I am just super impressed with their complexion products. The price, the packaging, and the quality is so good. So to add some dimension to the face, I'm gonna be using the Mystic Contouring Palette in 502 Nude. There's three different colors, and this retails for $6.99. So they have brightening powders, and then they have three different contour and bronze shades. So I'm going to mix these two right here and just start to warm up the face. So I'm just going to slowly build this up. I'm mixing in that contour shade that's a little bit more cool, just to kind of sculpt the face out. So to clean up that bronzer and contour, I'm gonna take the more pinky, brightening shade and I'm just gonna pull this underneath. So while I let that bake for a second, I'm gonna go into that biscuit shade. I think I'm gonna mix it with Dawn and I just want to use this on the lower lash line just really lightly. And for the inner corner, I wanna take a little bit of this satin shade. It's really pretty and brightening. It's called Sunbeam. And I just wanna use this just to brighten up right there. It's not super high shine. Like I said, it's more of like a satin brightening shade. So I'm also recurling my lashes just to make them pop. You just wanna make sure you have nothing on your lash curler, like you clean it off before and that you wait until the mascara has dried. So you can see just from doing that, the difference in how it really lifts your lashes. It's something that really makes a huge difference for me. So I'm wiping away that powder. It's super, super brightening. So you kind of have to really work to wipe it away. So to liven up the face, I'm so excited to demo the cream blushes. These are actually called the Cheeky Color Jams, which I love the name, I love the packaging. Three different shades, these retail for $4 each. The shades are really beautiful. They're very much like the peachy, 
red, rosy colors, that burnt, sun-kissed flush that's really in right now. So I'm gonna start off with Afternoon Peach. Now these are highly pigmented, a little goes a long way, and they have a really like creamy, bouncy texture to them. So let me swatch this for you, just so you can see. But they really blend out and they're not sticky or heavy. They almost do that sort of cream to powder feel, like that soft matte feel, but they do have little bit of a glow. They really liven up your face. So I'm gonna start out with this shade and then I probably will add another one. I like to start back here and then just build up. So this is definitely the most subdued or lightest shade. So I probably will add a little bit of another shade just to show you. This is super easy to use, goes over powder. You can use it on an unset face if that's your preference. I like to add a little to the forehead just to tie it in. And I forgot to mention, these smell so good. They have like a really yummy peach scent to them, which I think is just a fun touch. So that is Afternoon Peach. You can see that it definitely gave me a flush, but it's you know not super out there or crazy. I wanna add a little bit more, and I'm trying to decide. I think I am gonna go in with the red shade here. I'm just gonna use a little bit. This is Scarlet Sunset. So this can look intimidating, but again, a little goes a long way, and when you start blending it out, you're gonna get that really beautiful, just flushed look. So because this shade is darker, I am really going to be light-handed, and I'm gonna try to stay back here, and then blend forward. And I'm also gonna take a little bit on the sides of my nose, just to really give me that like sun-kissed vibe. So I want to add a little bit of a highlight, and I'm actually going to use the eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to use that same shade that I used on my inner corner called Sunbeam, just because it's a little bit softer. It's not like super metallic. I'm just going to use this on the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, just to add a little bit of brightening, a little bit of glow, but honestly nothing too crazy. And then just go over with your sponge or whatever you applied your blush with just to make sure I don't have any like harsh lines. So for lips, I'm going to be using this Glam 101 Duo. This is a lipstick and a lip liner in one. So you have a matte lipstick right here and then you have a deeper corresponding lip liner. I really like the lip products, specifically the lip liners from She Glam, and this is only $3.49. So I have warm nutmeg here, so I'm gonna use this to line my lips. One thing I really love about the lip liners from She Glam is they are not super creamy where they're sliding all over your face. I love the color selections, but I also like that they have a little bit of drag to them so you have more control. So it really keeps, you know, whatever product you have inside the lip line and you're not smearing it all over your face. It's just easier to get a precise line. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the lipstick side just to give me a base because I'm gonna go in with a lip oil. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to the center of the lips. This is definitely a cool tone lipstick and it really goes beautifully with the lip liner. I really like these corresponding duos because the lip liner is just deep enough to really give you that contoured look that I love. So I love to add a little bit of faux freckles. I just feel like it's such a summer, just beachy vibe. And this I saw and had to have. So this is the Freck Please Freckle Tint. I have it in the shade Tan. They do have, I think, four or five shades to choose from. So this retails for $4.49, and it basically is just a freckle pen. The packaging is super luxe. I love the packaging on this. So I just like to dot and then take your finger and press them in just to make it look as natural as possible. I also really like this color because it's not super dark, but they did have other options too. And then I'm just gonna take the sponge that had the blush on it, just sort of press over. Oh, I love this blush, it's so pretty. 
So to finish off the lips, I have the Layer Cake Lip Oil Set. Look how cute this packaging is. So this is a set of three different lip oils and this retails for $11. So these are the three lip oils that come in the kit. You have chocolate, rainbow cake, and cherry. They are all quite sheer, but rainbow cake has a little bit of glitter in there if you like that. These have a beautiful high shine and they're packed with coconut oil, sweet almond oil, so they really hydrate and moisturize your lips. So I think I'm gonna go in with the cherry shade. They do also have this curved, really big doe foot and they feel incredible on the lips. This one smells like cherry cake or something. So they are quite sheer and they're very thin in formula. Like they're not sticky at all. Very hydrating, just like that really pretty glowy high shine. Super, super thin formula, but you can see just how high shine they are. So you really don't even need to use, honestly, a lipstick like I did. You could just use a lip liner and then apply this. Ooh, so pretty. So I can't help myself. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the cream blush. I just love the flushed cheek look with the freckles and the glossy lip. It's just so pretty. So I'm using the Scarlet Sunset, which was that like red shade. Oh, look how gorgeous this is. And I'm pulling it pretty much all across my face. So to finish off this tutorial, really set my face, give me that dewy look. I'm gonna be using the Setting Spritz. How adorable is this packaging? So this is also from the Sunday Picnic collection, and this is $5. I just love this packaging. So this has a grape champagne scent. It smells like grape soda to me. It smells so good. So here's the mister, really nice and fine. So I'm honestly just going to douse myself in this. It smells so good. It literally smells like grape soda to me. So you can see that just gave me a little bit more of that glowy, dewy look. It's not heavy or sticky. It didn't disrupt my makeup. It just really melted all those powders in because I did use quite a bit of powder. And this is gonna last me all day, but I still look healthy and glowy. I don't look dry and cakey. Their complexion products are so nice. All right guys, so here's my finished makeup look using all products from She Glam. I just love how this turned out. I feel like they excel in their complexion products. Their foundation, concealer, the primer, the powder, everything just works so beautifully together. Just super smoothing, long wearing, nice coverage. I really, really am impressed. And this new Sunday Picnic collection is just so beautiful. I love the really soft tones on the eyes. I also love that it's not the typical warm orange colors that we see in a lot of neutral palettes. I just think they knocked it out of the park with this, the packaging, the formula. It's just truly a perfect everyday summer spring palette. I just love the picnic theme. The lip oils, I love. They're not sticky at all. They are very sheer but they're just super high shine and comfortable. They're not moving all over my face. No surprise that another standout for me has to be the cream blushes. I love the name, first of all, the Cheeky Color Jam. Just such a cute collection. Packaging is adorable. And these look a little bit intimidating because they do look so deep, but they really are easy to work with. You saw me apply them over powder. I pulled it all over my face over powder. I had no lifting or patching. It is a very soft sort of whipped formula but it does go almost like cream to powder. So it's very, very easy to use. It's pigmented, but you can build it up if you just use a light hand. And I just think the colors are just perfect for that really sunburnt, flushed look. I adore the packaging and the scent on this setting mist. It really does smell like grape soda and it does give you a nice glow to the skin, but it's nothing that's tacky or sticky or that messes with your base. So I highly recommend checking out She Glam if you haven't already. I will link all the products that I use today down below. I have just been thoroughly impressed with the formulas, the colors, the packaging, the presentation, just really, really high quality products at an affordable price. Honestly, they are killing it, and I'm excited to see what they come out with next. This Sunday Picnic Collection is just giving it to me. It's just giving me all the summer vibes with the flushed cheeks and the glossy lips and the glowy skin. 
but it's gonna last all day because that matte foundation is incredible. So again, I will link all the products down below if you wanna check anything out. I also will put my code down below to save 15% off. Now that will take 15% off your entire order on Shein, so it doesn't have to be just cosmetics. It could be clothing, accessories, whatever you want to buy. I'm no stranger to, you know, shopping the clothing section on Shein. So I will leave all the information down below in my description box. Do let me know what you think of this look and the products that I use today. Also, let me know what your favorite products are from She Glam. Maybe I need to try some more because I feel like I keep discovering new favorites. So thank you to She Glam for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>